Hey, how's it going? This is James for VFX Nomad, and this is an introduction to Clarice. So I will attempt to not bore you to death, but we need to go over the basics. When you first open Clarice, uh, in this case I'm using 3.0, you may get this dialog box. All this means is you want to use the new method or the old method of calculating the shaders. So we're going to go with the new one because bigger is better, I suppose. And this is what it's going to look like. So to start off with, this is your 3D view. So this is where we're going to build our scene. Everything is hopefully going to be in here. Underneath this is another tab called the image view. The image view is where the render will be. So this is what we're going to be able to output. If you want to change the working space, you can drag things around the screen. You can split windows. You can create new tabs with any of the plus buttons. It's pretty modular that way, which is cool. Now, down here in the bottom left hand corner is in essence the backbone of the program. This is where everything is going to live. In this case when you open a default scene it gives you a camera, a light, a path tracer and an image. So the image is the finished product, the image is what it is that we're looking at. The path tracer is the, this is the engine that does the actual math and then we have a light underneath that which if we go into our little 3D viewport here, so this is alt, left, middle or right click depending what it is you want to do. Uh, we can see that that is our light and then we have a camera. So if I press F it will focus on the camera and that's what our camera is looking at. So that's that. This image down here is the same as this image here. This is for if you have a big scene and you have lots of images. So if you're doing a city for example and you have 50 different cameras and they're all placed in weird places around the scene this is a very quick way to figure them out or find them but in our particular case we're not going to need it this image is made up of layers with the layers this part over here let's imagine this is photoshop okay so you're going to have six or seven different layers you could have your character your helicopters your background your water whatever and you can split them all onto different layers which means when you come to render it they would render out as different layers but when you put them all together that's what the image is that's what you're looking at that's like your photoshop document the material linker is one of three ways to apply a material to your object we'll go over this in detail later because the material linker is useful if you have a small scene if it's just you working in it then you may want to work this way but if you're sharing things with other people uh, there's a slightly different way that we're gonna we're gonna do it but that's relatively complicated so we'll get to that later we'll just kill it for the minute and then above that is the attribute editor so if this is your backbone this allows you to then look at said backbone so we click on the camera this will show us all the parameters for the camera etc same with the light same with the path tracer same with the image so the image, like I said, is made up of layers. So if we look at the bottom here, you can see that it says background. And that is the same as this layer here. Um, don't worry about it too much for now. All you really need to know is you click on your image, you're deciding the size. A quick side note is this resolution multiplier. It's basically asking you what resolution you want to see it at. So, okay, this is what I want to output. This is what I want to give to my client or whoever. But when I'm working locally, I don't necessarily need it to render at 100% every time I want to do something. That's just going to make it slow and slightly pointless. So instead of physically coming in here and changing it, what you can just do is say, okay, I just want to see this at 50% generally while I'm working in the project. The only thing to be careful about in that instance is you want to make sure that this is back to 100 when you render or this is going to be going to output at a half. Okay, um, don't worry, we will come to that later. At the top of the 3D view, you're going to notice all these little knobs and switches, which um, we will come to in due course. But the, the, the main points to take away from it are that when you work in Clarice, everything is going to be in folders. Uh, the folders are referred to as contexts here. So that's saying context. What that means is it's just following whichever folder I've clicked on. That's what it's going to show me. So if I click on this folder, this folder does not have the camera in it. This folder has the camera in it. So I can see the camera, click on this context. I cannot see the camera. If I find that annoying and I always want to look at what's in a particular folder, I can drag and drop that folder up here. And now it's locked. It doesn't matter what I click on. I'm always looking at this location. All right. Next to that, you're going to have how you want to look at your 
geometry or your things in the 3D viewport scene. Here are your adjustments to see how exact you want the representation to be. You've got the same thing over here. It's do you want your sampling to be 100% or 50% and yada yada yada. This little viewer is if I want to look through the camera, I can drag and drop it there. And now I'm looking through the camera. If I want to stop, I click off it. Same thing applies for the light. I don't think we need to necessarily go over many of the other ones right now. The only major ones that you want to be interested in are probably over here on the left hand side of the image view, which again, we'll go over later. Don't worry about it. I just want you to know that they're here. If you render something locally, you want to save it out, save there. If you want to trash it, trash it. This is your transparent background. You know, you can hover over any of these and it's going to tell you what it does. Okay. That's the worst of it, I think. So hopefully that didn't send you to sleep. I tried to go over it quite quickly, but just understand that basically you can hover over anything that you need more information on. You can split the windows if you wish to. You want to add something, you press the plus button. You want to get rid of something, you press close. Just take away from here that this is where most of the business is going to happen. Okay. That's it for the overview. Now we're going to import some stuff and we're going to lay out some stuff.